থ্যাংক ইউ বিগত একশো বছর ধরে নিজেদের কারিয়ার গড়তে আমাদের উপর ভরসা রাখার জন্য জজ টেলিগ্রাফ জীবন করে দেয় Welcome to Akashwani. Here we have today Jose Ramirez Barrett with, her, with uh, us today. And he is an absolute legend of Indian football, absolute Mohan Bagan legend. So we'll hear from him today. Welcome, Barrett. Thank you. So my first question to you is, you have been in Indian football for 14 years. You have been in Mohan Bagan for almost 10 years. And now you're coming back as a coach. So how does it feel? How is the feeling? Uh, really happy to be back. You know, uh, Yeah, it's had passing it had passing seven years since I left Mohun Bagan um, but it just had gone really very fast and, and I just feel like it was yesterday so of course I feel very happy to you know to be here I didn't thought that this could happen that way and but of course I'm, I'm really happy and I'm really enjoying my time being in, in Mohamed Grand always will be a will be a pressure so what do you have to say about the fans the fans received you they gave you a grand receiving they cheered your name they came with posters and banners what do you have to say about them they, they say that you are the god of Mohamed Bagan what do you have to say about that uh, frankly speaking I didn't expect it uh, and of course for the first day it's uh, some expectation there to, to find find some of the supporters to meet some of them uh, but it's been the third day today and and I <laughs> like the the number of supporters are increasing to the ground and and what I can say I'm really thankful for that and I think for the love uh, for the fans and the way they are they've been welcome to Mohamed ground is is really fantastic and it's been a fantastic relationship I think for for around 20 years and and I always would be happy to be part of this family so you have been a legendary player now you are into coaching are you enjoying coaching you have been with the Reliance Youth Foundation then with the ATK team also now with the Mohun Bagan team are you enjoying coaching and how different it is from playing in the field frankly speaking it's very hard you know it's not an easy job it's very hard football changes a lot in all aspects so today coach must know about at least the basics of everything the physical part physiology part mental part of course he must be also a expert in 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 the technical and tactical part also so there's so many components uh, ways really push you to go like a lot to to be most of the time uh, in, into a study process uh, and but it's uh, as I think it was I think as, as when I started up I really find out a lot of difficulties because it was quite different what I was going to do as a player but uh, after four years I can say that I'm really enjoying that you know um, it's, it's like discovering things so I think as much as you're discovering things things are becoming more interesting and at, at this moment I'm I can say that I'm really enjoying this coaching and I really want, I like keeping, you know, uh, uh, moving forward and learn as much as I can. I think, I think that would be a very important. So now you're going for the AFCA license. How much is the experience from Mohun Bagan co- uh, coaching with players, with uh, Spanish coaches? How much will this, will this help you in the AFCA licensing? Ah, uh, definitely it's going to help me a lot. And, uh, I'm being work with grassroots and youth level the last uh, few years. I think I had learned a lot certain level, and and of course this experience over here is 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 going to help me a lot to understand a lot of things. I didn't get time to process a lot of things because apart from my training schedule over here, it's is a demanding place, Kolkata. You know, I have to give attention for a lot of people. Uh, I think I only get in really the time to really thinking about the whole process the whole time I had been over here with the coach and and with the whole thing is when I'm getting back to Bombay so I think it will be really time when I'm really going to 
really thinking deeply about things that happen over here but it's been good it's good to be in the dressing room again uh, uh, it's good to be in different dressing room also because there is a moment where i i had been in the dressing room of players but say wow i'm tired today you know and and because it was so physical really tired due to the weather the sessions very hard and all those things so players sometimes they say wow you know i'm a bit tired of this life <laughs> and today i mean different side i mean to the coach life that is is a quite different but uh where we're discussing about sessions when discussing about players when we discuss also still as a team of coaches and staff we discuss together about about everything related to I think to the team you know what we're going to do and what we have done I think that's really a good discussion where it really make me really happy and and make me really to enjoy this time over here now the most common question after you receive your AFCA license which will be your dream club to manage as a head coach <laughs> see it's a big step you know to get in my license and and the next day uh, and be a coach of Mohammedan right and I'm always a guy that is, you know, uh, don't think too much, you know, about this. Of course, it's a dream, but don't make a plan counting with, with things that make things are not happen. And you say, ah, oh, you know, put a lot of expectation on that. A license will be, I think, really quite important for me because it's giving me, it's opening a door for me to coach in uh, any pro team in India. And it's what I'm really looking for, you know, and... But of course, Mohammed Gun is a big dream, and hopefully it's happen. Maybe or tomorrow or you know later on, it's happen. Then of course I'm going to fulfill a dream. We are also looking forward to see you as the coach of an Indian team. I know you want to gain experience first, mm -hmm. then fulfill your dream. So all the best for that. So the next question is about your career. So you have uh, played a lot of derbies, a lot of derby matches. The electrifying atmosphere, almost 80,000 people around you. How does that feel? How is that feeling different from the other matches? The game is, uh, I think, with the week already before the game, it's, uh, you know, the approach, you know, from the media, the approach from the fans. And uh, I don't think we players, you know, if there is no approach of media and support, we could see that differently. Yeah, we know that is, you know, there's a lot of things involved on it, but we could, uh, if the, there's not that approach from the fans and, and the media, I think we could be a normal week for us. But I think that the week from the derby already starting to become different because supporters getting agitated, the media, you know, they want news, they want really creating that hype about the game. And, and of course, when you come to the ground and you see that the atmosphere is, is, is really when you a bit realize, say, wow, you know, I'm to a, <laughs> a hot, uh, uh, hot pan. And, but, uh, of course, we think a lot about it. We, 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 think a lot about the consequences of it, the importance of winning a game like that, you know, for the for the fans, for the club, I think that is, is very important. Another game is, I never look, of course, I, knowing that there is, is, is was something more, you know, of course, the consequences of it are much more bigger than normal game. Of course, the, the importance was there, but I always looking also how the game is as an important game also, you know. Uh, I think points for us is, is, is very important for us to reach our goals also, you know, that is become a champion of the league. So, you know, with the time I really started counting and everything, one point, three points, everything was really important for me. But, of course, Derby is always a, is, is a game that is, is take a little bit more from, of course, from your mind. So you have scored so many goals, 19 goals from Mohun Bagan in derbies, 19 goals. So which one is your most memorable derby match? I think the Blatter won. I think it was 2010, if I'm not wrong. When Blatter came to uh, to see a derby, he was in the stage in South Lake and we won that game against uh, Ush Bengal. I think it was 2-1. And I think that that goal was a really memorable one. I think to having 
brought the president of FIFA into the stadium. I think it was very, very, very important one, and I think still very fresh in my mind the way I scored, the way the things happened, and I feel that one was, I think, an important one for me. It's a different kind of feeling, right? Scoring in a derby, the passion everywhere, everywhere people shouting, cheering for you. That is a different feeling altogether, right? It's a different because at one side you have seen Mohumbaga supporters that are like half. You have seen Mohumbaga supporters and half you have seen Wish Bengal supporters. So of course when you score a goal, it's a little bit different than, than I league because I league generally you have seen only supporters from one side when you play against a team from out of Kolkata. You have seen supporters of only one side. But in the derby it's, it's something different because you have seen two supporters like Like Kolkata is divided into two. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Then, of course, I think when it's going going there, is is something amazing, like something emotion that's difficult to describe, you know. But uh, definitely, it's a very special moment. That's is something that you know make you to feel you're going to heaven. Something I think that oh, you are in heaven. <laughs> Now let's go to your home country. Who is your favorite Brazilian player ever to play the game? My favorite player of Brazil team. Wow, we have so many. It's really difficult to <laughs> choose because uh, you know a lot of players they have done uh, a lot. They have done really important things in important times for us, our Brazil. Maybe there's a place they didn't won many things, but. In that moment, maybe a kind of Argentina game that player have done the difference. So it's it's quite difficult to to have you only one figure. But uh, let's say Ronaldo phenomenal. I think he was fantastic. Ronaldo, I think, was a player that he was from my time when. Yes. And he was playing in Grêmio. He was playing in Cruzeiro. He right? was playing Cruzeiro in that time. I think he was wow phenomenal. I think from that. Young age, and in the current squad, who is your favorite? See, everyone is looking to Neymar. You know, I I think Neymar is our our best player now at this moment. He's exceptional. I think the whole world is looking to him, and he has a talent that is really difficult to find on players. And he's a born talent player, and I think he's the player that I think every Brazilian is. Admirer, a big admiration, I think, for him. The way he plays, the way he performs, the way he scores, I think he's the one that I think everyone is looking at the moment. So Brazil is producing so many players, huge talents. They are also from poor backgrounds, like India. Indian players mostly they are from poor backgrounds. But where do you think India is lagging in that potential? Where is India lagging? I think football is a process, you know, that you have to keep in. Just like a, a, a kind of a software that you have to keep upgrading that, you know. You have a, a, a software. You cannot keep only that thing. You keep it like maybe every year or a few months. You keep it always upgrading in it. And and I feel that in the they haven't gone to that process of upgrading. And. And the history of football, I think, our history is much longer, you know, and and that passion, you know, uh, starting very early in Brazil. So I think the process, I think, had been a bit of India had been lack on that process in in you know following up what is going on in the world, and. I think Brazil, we are not also we are, a lot of things we're neglecting. Also, we are not also Europeans that are very disciplined, they're very organized. Things are they have a structure, but we starting very early and we having that passion also that is is huge on on us and and players are coming like a lot of born talent players and I think the system is a little bit more structure. In India, and where I think we are able at least to, from, you know, making players to go for a, for international level. So after becoming a coach, after becoming a head coach, uh, you as a head coach, where will you focus more to raise Indian players, to raise Indian players from the grassroots level to the higher levels? Where will you focus more? 
I think technical part is something that we must, I think, really give in a, a, a importance, special importance. I think the tactical part is about decision making, you know, players to understand where they are, where they have to go. And, and I feel the mental part also is something that is, it's, it's not become important, it's something very important for the player. You know, to be really, be very strong mental, you know, because football is a, is a sport with a lot of challenges and, you know, it's a sport that you have to be really strong, you know, and the leagues are long, a lot of factors are there, opponents, the weather, the ground, supporters, and really, I like, there's a lot of things where you're having to deal with, and I feel if you, I think that mental part also has, you know, to having some, I think, important thing, uh, some importance on that also. Now let's come back to Kolkata again. The Kolkata is going through a Spanish revolution. Mohun Magan is being all everywhere. Spanish coaches, Spanish players. Even last time, Chennai City FC, they won the I League. They had a Spanish armada. Even in ATK, there was a Spanish armada. So, how much is that affecting Indian football? Do you think Indian football is uh, getting uh, more developed due to the Spanish influence? I have no thoughts on that. I have no thoughts on that. And I think we, we must be using these opportunities to to learning with them because I think the Europeans is where the you know uh, football I think had been started and it's uh, it's our places also they where they are keeping upgrading themselves they are keeping really pushing you know to learning more about uh, the the scientific way and they try to explore football you know as, as much as, as as a kind of a subject learning more you know from it and i feel we having a lot i think india has a lot to learn with the foreigners in i think in all aspects i think we have to be a little bit more open i think still we're a bit shy i think the decision for me to come in here and and having an internship with the uh, with the coach the kuya and and there's some, co- some Indian coaches, they, they are not that open for that kind of opportunity to say, yeah, I must, he's a foreigner and I must also uh, maybe, uh, have, if he, he's here, I should maybe get in the opportunity to be spend some time with him and learning, talk with him, understand about things more, so it's going to help me out of my learning process. And I think that's very important and I feel Indians should be more open for those kind of things they must things are not going to come into you I don't think foreigners are going to call in the Indians but I think the the coach in them because they must really to pursue to really knock in the doors they must go there asking for the coach or asking for the clubs to have in that opportunity I think it's going to help in everyone is going to help in the football also who is your favorite player favorite Indian player and favorite foreign player you have played with or against um my favorite uh, Indian player, of course.